Hey YouTube, it's Ebony. Um, I just wanted to uh, make this video because I was really curious as to how many people know about uh, a certain disease that is very rare. Um, it's called congenital hypothyroidism. And I was watching a video and this girl, she was uh, trying to explain what congenital hypothyroidism is but she just, it seems like she doesn't know very much about it even though she has it. What congenital hypothyroidism is, is when two, like your parents, they carry the same, they both carry the same gene for a thyroid disease, which is what congenital hypothyroidism is. Well, let me say that slower. Congenital hypothyroidism. Okay, I know I said that, like, a little fast in the beginning, but, like, I don't want to have to spell it out or anything, but it's when both parents carry the gene for the thyroid disease, and what this disease does is, uh, you're, it's an absence of a thyroid, and a thyroid is this little, like, butterfly-shaped, uh, gland, and it's right here, somewhere in your throat. I believe it's behind or in front of the esophagus, uh, or your throat, for whoever doesn't know big, gigantic words like I do. <laughs> but, uh, that, that's basically what it is, and, uh, some of the symptoms that, uh, you can have with this is, um, weight gain, um, fluctuating weight, which means your weight goes up and down uh, all the time, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, this is a very serious disease, and it's very rare, and it's something that everybody should take seriously. Even if you don't have it, uh, you should really go get tested for it, uh, if you haven't already, for your, for your thyroid, because it's really important. It's a very vital organ in your body, and without it, you can die. Because this is what produces all of your growth hormones, and it's what stabilizes your metabolism. Um, um, I don't know, it just, it, it does a lot of stuff that your body needs to be able to grow and produce all of the necessary things that you need throughout your life, and it's very vital. And without it, you will, you'll die. Uh, but if you catch it, you know, like when you're a baby, which is mostly what hospitals do, uh, when you're a baby and when you're born, uh, they test you for, you know, as many diseases and all that stuff as possible, or as best as they can do. Um, sadly for me, I have congenital hypothyroidism. And it's a very serious part of my life because... Uh, I have to take pills, um, this is it, right here, um, uh, let me take one out, and you only take, uh, one, like, every morning, well, for me, I have to take it every morning, but, uh, this little blue pill right here, well, mine's blue because of the, the dosage, um, it's a very high dosage because I don't have one, so, yeah. But this is basically what it is. It's just a small little pill that you have to take. Um, I'm on a generic brand of Synthroid. And Synthroid is a pill that substitutes your thyroid. It works as a thyroid. Um, my, the generic brand is Levothyroxine. Um, I am currently taking 137 micrograms. And it's a very high dosage. The highest that uh, Synthroid can go up to is about 200. I believe it's 200. But, um, yeah. So, that's why I look like this. That's why maybe I might look skinnier in certain videos, or I might look just a little chubbier. It's because of my fluctuating weight, there's nothing I can do about it. That's why I have a fuller face, obviously. <laughs> um... You can also have dry skin, 
Um, but I'm the only dry skin that I actually get is like maybe on my hands and on my arms. That's that's about it. Um, I have a very oily skin, but that's it kind of runs in the family anyways. So, but really, this is something everybody should really like take control in their life. They need to be able to go get tested for things like this and their parents need to be responsible for it too, obviously, because without this thyroid, you know, there's no possible way that you could live. It's like not having a brain. It, you know, without a brain, you know, function, obviously. So, that's kind of my point I'm getting at. I know this is a long video, but this is something I'm really trying to explain. And it's something that's vitally important. And I think that everybody should have their thyroid tested. Uh, I have about two friends that have the same condition I do, but it's not congenital. Uh, they just have uh, what's called hypothyroidism. Um, and there's actually two kinds of uh, thyroid diseases. Maybe... I guess I, I kind of worded that wrong. There's not just like two, but I'm sure there's more. But uh, this is something I've been researching uh, for like a long time, and uh, it's not a subject that really comes up very often. And when I when I do try and explain it, people are like, "Huh? What? You know, like what the hell is that?" But yeah, there's. Uh, a little problem with the thyroid, uh, that you can get cancer from it, um, or you can get cancer in your thyroid, and what it does is it swells up really, really big, um, and then there's some really gruesome pictures, I like, on the internet, if you wanted to look it up, uh, just type in thyroid, um, or something, or whatever you want to know about the thyroid, it's on the internet, and... Like, I highly suggest that you guys look into it. Um, yeah. You, you can have cancer. There's another type of uh, thyroid disease. Um, it's called hyperthyroid. And hyperthyroidism is uh, when your bones, they are more susceptible to breaking because you get really, really, like, you're really skinny and you don't produce all the nutrients that you need also with hypothyroidism, which is the opposite of being skinny. You have, uh, with hypothyroidism, you have weight gain, uh, fluctuating weight, you know, all, all the shit like that. Um, no, excuse me, sorry, my language. All the stuff like that, uh, and, uh, hyperthyroid is, uh, like, you constantly, you, lo you lose weight faster, your metabolism is faster, um, you're more susceptible to breaking bones, you know, like, like calcium deficiency in your bones. Um, I haven't really looked into that kind of, uh, thyroidism disease, uh, it's just another thing of, uh, a thyroid disease. That's basically what it is. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, some other stuff that just, uh, let's see. Oh, um, you can also have, you're also susceptible to heart disease, and that's because, uh, your appetite is just a little bit increased, uh, with hypothyroidism which is what I have. I have hypo, obviously, because I'm not skinny. Of course, of course it kind of looks like that in the video, but I, I don't know. Depend, depending on how you look at me, but this is all just, I wanted to explain all of this. Clear this up. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, the heart disease, uh, can come on, 
if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't work out regularly and, you know, keep a healthy diet, and I'm quite the opposite of that. I, I don't work out. I don't keep a healthy diet. It's hard for me to lose weight. It probably takes me longer than the average person who doesn't have this disease, um, as do many of other people who have this disease. Uh, it's nothing that just goes away. Uh, it's something that you have for life, and you have to take these pills for the rest of your life. You can't just miss one and say, you can't just, like, take one and say, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm better. I just need to take the entire bottle and I'll be good. No. That's not how it works. You have to take those pills for the rest of your life until you die. Because if you don't, you will get really sick. And trust me, I know. I've gotten sick, like, really sick, like, maybe flu symptoms, like, where you start, like, feeling bad and, like, tired, and you just, you have a hard time waking up, and then all you want to do is sleep. You're just so tired and exhausted, yet you haven't done, like, hardly anything. Um, so that's why it's important to take your pills if you have this disease. Um, either whether it's, like, hypo or hyper, you have to take your pills, because if you don't, you will die. You will get really sick, like, extremely sick, and you will die. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to scare nobody, but that's, that's the sad truth. You know, like, the truth hurts. You gotta bite this thing in the ass and just work through it. Um, I don't know how much these cost. Um, when I was on some kind of health plan where it made everything free, like all your med, like all your medications, like all of your doctor visits and all of that, um, it made it free. So I'm not really sure how much it costs. If you guys are wondering how much it costs, I, <laughs> I really don't know. Um, my parents have always bought my medicine, or, or went to got my medicine, went to get my medicine. I thought, Jesus, uh, went to get my medicine. So, um, not really something I know, I know about, but this disease I know a lot about, and I think it's really important that people go to their doctors regularly, regularly and have it checked out. Even if you know that you have a thyroid and you don't have a problem, there could be a problem. You just don't know it. It's not like you're going to notice, but, uh, yeah. It's just important, and you guys need to take control. And another thing I'm uh, starting to remember now is that uh, your hair will be very coarse and very brittle, and your voice will also be really hoarse, uh, like like really deep, uh, like mine is. <clears throat> and you just not you don't really adapt to the cold or or heat very well as other people might. So you're probably going to be cold when it's really hot outside. <laughs> so, maybe you'll even be cold when it's like 70 degrees or if it's a bit breezy. Um, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's really all I know, because I've, I've researched this so many times that it's not something you can forget, because you really want to look out for all of this stuff. It's really important. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope, I really hope this helped. Um, I know this video is really long, but this is kind of an important video, and I want everybody to have their thyroid checked once in a while. I have to go get mine checked, well, since I don't have one, they have to check my, uh, hormone levels, obviously. Um then that's how they check the thyroid, the non-existent one. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really, again, I really hope this helped. Uh, I just wanted to clear this thing up with a video that I watched, uh, about 14 minutes ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it's getting awkward, so I'm going to go.
I don't know why I keep rambling, but I'm going to stop. So if you have any questions, uh, either you can message me or um, you can shoot me a comment down below. Um, make sure you subscribe to my videos. Um, subscribe to my other channel, um, which is that dork over there. Uh, that's my makeup channel. Um, so make sure you subscribe, comment, link, all that. <laughs> Get my videos known, please. So yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.